Hello and welcome to a Claire's Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website, codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Okay, today we're going to be making a simple water tutorial. So we're just going to go in front mode by pressing the 1 key and we're going to make our cube bigger about as big as our screen so that'll be fine like that. we're going to put it into wireframe mode so we can see inside it and we're going to add another cube and just drag it to the top up here and we're going to go into object mode Let's select our bigger outer cube first and go into the objects button at the bottom and select physics button. Um, under the fluid simulation, click enable and click domain. Um, in the domain this means that's where the water is going to be happening. So we'll just do that. And we're going to click on our little cube now and enable it and we can make it fluid which means that specific amount of fluid will just fall out and land on the floor or we can make it an inflow which means um, an unlimited amount of fluid will come out of it in 250 frames um, as that's how long our animation is at the moment so we're going to make an inflow and set our initial inflow velocity to minus 0.10 and we're going to go and right click on our domain and click bake it may take a while to do that but now it seems to have done it so now we've got our baked fluid so we can zoom out and press the Z key so we'll go back into solid mode and press alt A and watch our water fall out of our cube like a tap and land in the base of our domain it is looking a bit jaggedy so we'll just press escape to end our animation and go to edit mode in the button tab and press set smooth and now we've got some nice smooth water if we go and animate it or smooth liquid goop and we can press escape to end that um, we can just right click on our box drag it out of the way as uh, so we don't need that anymore because our fluid is baked it doesn't need the domain or the inflow as it's an object on its own and we can colour that, we can make it look watery, see-through like, um, and all sorts. Um, and you have to render that, obviously, to get the full look. I hope this has helped with your water problems. Um, I will be doing some more tutorials, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching.